portfolio tips. Um, so when you put a portfolio together, quality over quantity. Four to six pieces of your best work is plenty. Just We just want to see your best. We don't want to see everything you've done since primary school. You know, just your favorite things you've ever done. Show breakdowns if you can. Again, this is what I was talking about. So the, you know, the mesh and the UV layouts and the data maps. Again, as I say, might be slightly the next step for you guys, but that's the sort of thing we like to see that shows you understand what game art is like, that it would be efficient to work in game. Talk about your inspiration. What were you trying to do? Why did you make this? You know, because that's always really interesting. Why did you decide to create that environment? Sometimes you, you just, you don't know, you know, what, maybe it's to learn a piece of software, maybe it's to learn a new technique, or maybe it's a place you've been to or a place you'd like to go to or whatever. So yeah, talk about it. So I think it's really interesting to hear those stories. Smart presentation, professional, uncluttered. My advice would be art station. Put your portfolio in art station. It's very simple, very easy to navigate, very easy to use. I'd, over 90% of artists use ArtStation. It's a standard one, so but it keeps everything very simple and uncluttered. Lighting can make a break a scene. So even if you don't want to be a lighting artist, but you've made, say, a beautiful guitar, and then you light it from behind, and it's just in silhouette, it looks terrible, or light it from above, and it's just really harsh. It, you can't tell what a beautiful guitar you've just made. Think about lighting. Even if you don't want to be a lighting artist, do think about how your work looks and how it's lit. Uh, have a video. Uh, because so games obviously you move through games don't you so everything's seen in 3d in real life so think about doing a video of the artwork you've made because that's how it'll really be seen and it shows the surface detail better it shows how things reflect and react and how it looks to actually go around it so you could do a, like a fly through or you could do a um, what's it called a turnaround where you actually have an object and you just rotate it or whatever but think about having videos in your portfolio you could do step by step so in the journey. So for example, if you were doing this Bright's Diner here, you could set a camera up in the scene and you could start building it. You know, like that thing we saw at the very beginning with the blockouts, the white blockouts or whatever. So you have your camera there and you take snapshots, you know, every week or every day or how, depending on how quickly you're working. And then we can see the process you've gone through. And even if you can again, actually I took that bit away and I decided to put this bit in here instead, you know, or whatever. That's all still part of the journey and it, it helps us to see the bigger picture of what you're actually creating. Um, make sure you clarify anything that's not your own. So say you've, you know, you put in your portfolio this massive space hangar with great big doors and some spaceships and some characters running across here and it's like, surely you didn't make all of that. You know what I mean? So make sure you kind of go, yeah, I made the spaceship. I didn't do the hangar. I didn't do the characters, but the spaceship's mine or whatever. You know, you kind of just and call out the bit that you made in the scene so, so that it's very clear. If we see a really, really big scene, by and large, we don't assume, we assume you've not made all of it unless you sort of say you have. So just be clear about which bit you've made. And in your, in your CV, think about putting things like achievements, any achievements you've ever, even if you don't think it's relevant to games, I think any kind of achievements is really worth saying. It makes you stand out. Um, any work experience you've had, any interests you've got. You know, sometimes if we have an advert out for a junior artist, sometimes we can have, you know, sort of, 50, 60, 70 applicants, and I might remember the one who says, oh, I'm a stand-up comedian, or, you know, I'm the one that likes to make jellies or something, you know what I mean? It's like, it makes you stand out, and you go, oh, that was the one that did this, you know? So just putting your interest in actually does help you stand out. And your portfolio link, don't forget your portfolio link. Uh, 